It was not Jesus, right? If you go back to where Jesus was walking the earth and you walked around and said, where's Jesus? Nobody would know who the fuck you're talking about. This is not the real name. That's a fabricated name. As a matter of fact, the J didn't even exist until more recently. Because many people use the name Jesus today, but the name of our Messiah is Yahshua. And people say, well, that's his Hebrew name. I say, no, that is his name. Look, you're telling me I should get to know Jesus. You don't even know what his name is. You think his mother named him Jesus? He's Jesus is not Aramaic, it's He's Yeshua. Listen to this YouTube comment about the name of Jesus. His name isn't Jesus. One name under heaven by which to be saved, not Jesus. If Satan teaches the world it is, then all those who confess Jesus are lost. His name is Yeshua. The Messiah, Jesus Christ, is the pagan name given to him in the 5th century at the Council of Nicaea by the Church. It's become common for some to call Jesus by his Hebrew name, Yeshua, or to be more correct, Yehoshua, or Yeshua, or by his full name, Yeshua HaMashiach. But be careful, because there's more you should know. Jesus. Pick up any English translation of the New Testament, and that's the name of the miracle-working apocalyptic preacher from Nazareth who walks around the Sea of Galilee talking about the coming kingdom of God. J-E-S-U-S, -S, Jesus. But that wasn't really his name, right? I said English translation of the New Testament. If you were to take a time machine back to the Galilee and walk up and say, hey Jesus, you'd get a confused look. And if you walk up and say, good morning, what's up? You'd also get a confused look because they don't speak English, because you wouldn't be in an English-speaking country. They would speak Greek or Aramaic or Hebrew, so it's quite simple. But of course, we need an expert to explain more, introduced by the man in the magic shirt. What was the actual name of Jesus? Yeshua is spelled with four letters in Hebrew and Aramaic. Yod, Shin, Vav, and Ein, read from right to left and without vowels. That final letter Ein is not actually an equivalent to the English vowel A, but rather it's what's called a guttural letter, one of several in the Hebrew and Aramaic alphabet. Ein is created in the back of your throat. This affected the pronunciation of the name. How did Yeshua become translated to Jesus? Yeshua was translated into ancient Greek as Jesus, and that's because the original authors of the New Testament were trying to convert the sound of the Hebrew name into Greek letters. But since they didn't have the letters or spelling to represent the sh sound in their language, they substituted an S sound in the middle, and that led them to Jesus. That made its way into Latin almost unchanged as Jesus. But eventually this fancy I was adopted as a new letter to denote the J sound that entered the English language thanks to influence from Old French. And in fact, early modern English writers would write English J words with an I. Even as late as 1611, when the first edition of the King James Bible was published, I and J were not distinguished from one another. All J names in the Bible, including Judas, Jesus, and John, were all spelled with an I. It was not until 1629, with the first major revision of the King James Bible, that they were finally differentiated. Add some influence from Germanic languages, which makes the S between two vowels sound like a Z, and we finally arrive at Jesus. But let's complicate this even more. No, let's not. I've had enough. There's something else that you may like to consider if you're tempted to stop using the name of Jesus. It makes sense to use the English language when we're speaking of Jesus to English-speaking people. This is because unbelievers, those we're trying to reach, will have no idea who we're talking about if we refer to him in a foreign language they neither speak nor understand. We may as well be speaking to them in part Russian by saying, put your faith in Emesosa. Way back in the early 1990s, I was preaching the gospel in the open air at Berkeley University and was being angrily heckled by a man who was clearly demon-possessed. He hated it when I used the name of Jesus and insisted in front of the crowd that I call him Yeshua because he knew my hearers wouldn't have any idea of whom I was speaking if I spoke of Jesus using a foreign language. Why is it that those who insist on using Hebrew when referring to Jesus use English when they refer to Adam, David, Noah, Peter, Andrew, James and John, and the Apostle Paul? The real name of Jesus for English-speaking people, which is what we use, is Jesus. This evil world only uses one human being's name as a cuss word, and that name is the English name of Jesus. It's never Yeshua. I wonder why.